Hi, and welcome to Stats with Mia. This video introduces why missing data is an important topic using a very simple example. Let's say there's an island and we're interested in the travel habits of the people on this island. We want to ask how many times a year do people on this island fly? So let's say that we go out and we do a telephone survey on a random sample of the people on this island. Now, by the way, this is not actually a real island. It's a place that we've simulated. So we actually know that if everyone responds to the survey, we will see that the distribution of the number of flights per year that people take will look like this. The mean is 2.7 flights a year, and the variance is 3.3. .3. Now, in reality, it's very likely that not everyone will respond to the survey. Let's explore two different scenarios where this might happen. In the first scenario, about a third of the people just aren't at home when you call them. And it's a random selection of the people that you call who don't pick up the phone. So based on the people who do respond, your distribution looks like this. The mean is 2.6 and the variance is 3.3. .3. Let's compare this to how the distribution looks if everyone had responded. You can see that the shape of the distribution still looks quite similar even though the sample size has much reduced. And the mean and the variance are not affected too much. In the second scenario, a third of the people again don't respond, but this time it's because these people are away at a music festival on another island. These people are actually some of the people who travel the most. So with those people not represented, your distribution looks like this. Let's compare this to what the distribution looks like if everyone responds. Now you can see that some of the higher values have disappeared, and the mean has gone down and so has the variance. So this simple example has shown that missing data can have important consequences. In the second example, the consequences are more severe than in the first example. And in the simulated setting, we knew the reasons why data was missing, but in real life, you might not know what those reasons are. You would have to carefully consider different possible assumptions about the missing data and think about how best to go forward with the analysis. This series of videos helps to provide a framework for doing this. Thanks for listening.